Welcome to the channel, man. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. But what I need you to do first, follow that little button, that little box that's going to end up right here or right here, and click, click, subscribe to the channel. I need some more subscribers. I got to get this channel to grow. What I have here is a, I think it's an 05 model PT Cruiser. And you guessed it, man. You guessed it. Overheating. Overheating. They came in and said, we done replaced everything. The water pump, the radiator, the this, the that. Everything related to cooling they have replaced. And what do I do? Seeing that I know the history on these cars, I simply perform what we call a combustion test. You're essentially testing to see if exhaust gases are entering into the cooling system. If it is, yes, it's getting in there through either the cylinder head gasket or the cylinder head itself. Now, with this being a multi-layered cylinder head gasket, chances of it getting through here are slim to none. It's probably getting in through that aluminum cylinder head. Real sensitive aluminum cylinder head. That's why I repeat all the time, you should never let this car get hot. If you in the H, shut it down. I don't care if you're a minute away from the house unless it's an emergency but for the most part go ahead and shut it down man have somebody come and get you but obviously apparently that's what they did i got the total history on the car and she explained to me that everything else has been replaced so that's pretty much the only thing left i got a couple of videos on discussing that but again what i had to do was a combustion test and i'll show you all how to do a combustion test and the tool i use to perform the combustion test so you'll have a pretty good understanding of what i'm talking about all right now i'm gonna bring the um I'm gonna bring the camera up to the actual block and show you what I mean when, I, when I'm talking about multi-layer steel head gaskets and uh, let's just talk a little bit more about it. Some of y'all like to know about it, so I'm gonna talk some more about it. Let me take the camera down. On a brand new steel, multi-layered steel head gasket with this um, cylinder head that I had to send out for repairs to get uh, straightened. It was warped. I did the cylinder flat test and uh, it failed. So in another video I showed you, or I'm gonna, I think I, I haven't posted yet, but I'm gonna post it soon and show you uh, how to check a uh, cylinder head for uh, flatness. Uh, this car, this PT, had constant overheating. That's why I got like three overheating v videos out there about PT Cruiser. If you constantly, your PT Cruiser constantly overheating and you have done everything, uh, your very last test should be a, a combustion test where you, you essentially checking to see if you're getting exhaust gases is into your into your cooling system now I don't know if I have a video out on that but I will put one out real soon that test will verify if you're getting the exhaust gases into your cooling system as a result you know it's coming through the cylinder head or the head gasket probably not the head gasket by the end you probably have warped the cylinder head to the point where the exhaust gases can enter into the cooling system so you will essentially need a new head or send your old head out to a real good machine shop that can properly straighten it out, flatline it out to where you know it will set flush with the steel block. Because that steel block is not going to warp <laughs> before that aluminum cylinder. This is a multi-layer steel gasket and the, the block itself is cast iron uh, steel. So neither one of these will warp before that aluminum cylinder head. So keep in mind, if you let this car overheat even a little bit, that's why I try to tell people if your PT Cruiser, any, not just PT Cruiser, any four cylinder, any engine that utilize an aluminum cylinder head should not be allowed to overheat for a long period of time. Or you will eventually, almost certainly warp that sensitive aluminum head. God forbid your block is an aluminum block and you have aluminum cylinder head and you let your car overheat, you in the red, but you're really trying to get home, you're five minutes away from the house. As soon as you shut that car off, it probably will never start again. But that's all I have on this, man. I just want to point this out. Uh, I pulled the old cylinder head off. The head is back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to shoot a video of me installing it, but for the most part, this multi-layer cylinder head gasket being removed because we sent the head out to get uh, to the machine shop to get pressure tested and flattened or straightened. All right, that's all I have on this video. Thanks for watching, comment, and subscribe. And we're gonna get this engine back together with this brand new multi layer steel head gasket. Now, there's some uh, spray that Chrysler asked us to use. Now, and then too, I heard somewhere you shouldn't use anything on these. So, 
when I find out, for the most part, I have been putting a gasket maker on because I read from the engineer, Chrysler engineer, you should, you know, spray it coated with gasket maker. I don't uh, coat the whole thing with gasket maker, then set it down and then set your head on it. But for the most part, I will find out uh, most certainly um, how accurate that is and uh, get back with you. All right. So let me finish putting this engine together and I will see y'all on the next video. Thanks for watching.